well, that's true, and, and I, hope, uh, I hope this explains um, the few ways uh, in which we are called to be civilly disobedient. Uh, but if I could just say this really, really quickly um, from Titus 3.1. When we do decide to be disobedient, when we have to, when we have to disagree, when we have to, uh, when we have to disobey them, um, there's a certain way in which we do it. Um, we do not do it like the rest of the world does it. Um, uh, really, we should read verses one through three, um, but I am just going to read verse two. Uh, this is the way in which we disobey the, the, the government. We do it by speaking evil of no one. Um, we avoid quarreling. We are to be gentle, and we are to show perfect courtesy towards all people. And you go back and you read the New Testament when John the Baptist, or when Paul, or when Jesus, or anybody else was being civilly disobedient towards the governing authorities, and you will find that sometimes they were very, very strong and very, very bold, but at all times um, they were polite, and they were respectful, and we do not see any of the any of the name calling and the slander and the childish things that you will see Christians say towards our president and, and just absolutely devoid of any honor and respect and it is, it is downright unchristian when, when Christians behave that way when they speak about our president and, and throw around slanderous little names as if we were seventh graders in middle school and, and, and it is wrong and God says it's wrong, and it and and it upsets God and makes God angry when people who claim to be Christians uh, want to behave that way. And so we sh we should not do that. We should be gentle. We should show perfect courtesy towards all people. And here's why: uh, Titus three three, because we ourselves were once foolish. We were once disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures, passing our days in malice and envy, hated by others and hating one another. It's, <laughs> he's saying, the only thing that makes us any different than them is because God's grace came and saved us. And, and when we slanderously point the finger at them and, and, and call our president by names and things like that and, and behave like a little middle school boy or girl um, we are saying that that um, we don't appreciate the fact that we were just like that and it's only the grace of God that changes us so um, obey the government be submissive to the government why? Be for Christ's sake it says that right there in Romans 13 1-7 that we do this for God's sake because we are teaching the world um, what God is like, and and quite often, quite oftentimes when we when we behave like little children, we are teaching the world to think wrong things about God that are incorrect. Um, so this is this is incredibly important, and I hope this is helpful.